Hello, it's Anthony here from Evolution Series and welcome to the next Chronicles chapter. In this journey I had the pleasure of working with my good friend Buku, an extremely talented songwriter and musician from Mongolia. We sampled his amazing voice and horse fiddle to create this beautiful little instrument of inspiring textures and motions. So let's dive on in. To begin we'll have a detailed look at all the sounds of Buku, starting with the combinations. We'll go to Buku Choir and just have a little play. So what you're hearing here is really a bunch of his different vocal articulations stacked on top of each other. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different types of vocal articulations all playing at once. You can get this beautiful uh, choir-like effect going on, which really, for me, I find truly inspiring. Moving on to the next one, Heart of Mongolia. This one I really love. This is blending a mixture of voice with horse fiddle. Let's have a little play. So what's interesting about this particular one is, uh, once again, like the previous uh, combination that I played, we were, we're stacking voices again, and we're also stacking horse fiddle articulations. The cool thing is, is that when you play softly, you can see here that we're just getting the soft, smooth vocal articulation and these three horse fiddle articulations but then when we play loud we're getting everything so it's like going from something small soft and beautiful to then something big and dramatic and this is the great thing about creating an instrument like this is that we're able to provide something that I personally feel allows you to be quite creative when playing these things. It can, it can also help you get some lovely ideas. Actually, just out of interest, while we're here, I'll show you uh, what happens is if we move these little icons around the stage and how it affects the sound. So we'll bring these a bit close if we want a more intimate, detailed sound. <laughs> So 
it still sounds very cool. But then if we bring it back in the room. So there's a lot of sound sculpting possibilities. So for people who like more of a roomier sound, you can easily reproduce that. Or if you like a more close, intimate sound, once again, it's, it is all possible with this instrument. The great thing is we're using real room mics here. So the intelligent scripting is adjusting those microphone levels as you move the icon around the VR stage. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Sorrow. Oh, this is the little horse fiddle one. Just so you can see what's going on behind the scenes, we have three different articulation types here. So when we're playing at different velocity levels, it will activate a different type of wave. So if I play softly, a bit louder, you get a faster wave. And if I play even louder, We get a slide. So let's uh, have a quick little look at how the VR stage affects the sound. So let's bring it up really close. Bring it back. I personally think there's a good sweet spot between having the close and the room mics blending nicely together. So I find somewhere around here is good. You've got a good bit of detail on that close, yet you've got a little bit of that room splash that just sounds lovely. Okay, well, let's move on, um, on to the horse fiddle. We'll start from just the beginning. These are some bonus staccato ones. These actually came from the motions. So we've got two different types of shorts that uh, are kind of more agile, fast. And a slower one. So it's surprisingly useful. It's uh, just by playing softly, you can get the fast short. And then when you play a bit louder, you get the slower one. So 
So that's fun and useful. Uh, next one. Motion. So we're diving into our motion territory here. These are our staccato technique, our short motions. We'll start from the beginning. So this is, that's a motion that's just happening on every, on the first beat of each bar. It's a little bit tricky to play this one without a click because uh, it's uh, knowing when you're going to play the next note. But as you go up, you'll hear how the motions change. And then we'll move up. That's pretty cool. And then we're going faster. And then even faster. And finally, our triplets. Okay, on to the next one. Sustains. So it's really quite, uh, quite beautiful, actually. If we go up to the next sustain motion. So if you're hearing any gaps or spaces between my changes, uh, that's to do with my playing, so I apologize. You can easily fix that in your DAO and uh, adjust your MIDI data to have no gap and have it a beautifully smooth transition between notes and chords. And then our last sustain motion. So they're all quite useful, and I think you setting up all three of these motions, you're able to kind of create some quite realistic and lively movement within your music. So moving on, have a look at our textures that we've captured. We'll click on here so we can see as we go. So our first texture we'll have a look at is a wave tremolo. It's 
really lovely. And then the next one, slow wave. Fast wave. You can see when you have a you get a, a musician to play a faster wave, it, there's a certain liveliness that it actually is very hard to reproduce just with normal sustained samples. There's just some magic in that. And with the same with the slow sustain, it's, it's, there's a different emotion that gets injected into that performance and it really is quite inspiring to play. Our slides, so slide up. Slide down. So all very useful. Okay, on to the next one. We'll dive into the voice now. Have a look here. So we've got six different voice articulations here, textures. So we'll start off with his lovely soft voice articulation, number one. Next one, which is another alternate soft voice. And now we are venturing into throat singing territory. This is truly pretty amazing just watching him perform it's very very cool so you can hear that opening and closing of the vowel it's very very nice Okay, let's go on to the next one. So that's kind of a lower range one. And then we'll go into the non-moving -ver version And on to the last one here. So if you were to compare that to the moving version of that. And we'll do the same with the other one. The non-moving version. Uh, 
So they're all beautiful, inspiring textures just by themselves, but I really, really love the magic that happens when you start stacking and building these combinations of all these textures playing at once. It really just sounds tremendous. So that is our little Buku instrument. We've had a quick look at all the sounds. It's a little one, but it really is an inspiring instrument. I'm truly proud to have done this with Buku. And I hope you have fun and enjoy the sounds too. If you would like more information about the UI and how it operates, please check out the Brass and Wood general overview video as that covers that aspect in great detail. Uh, the only differences are the sounds between the instruments, but the general operating is exactly the same. So until next time, and thank you for watching. Cheers.